Oh, well, oh, yeah, what? What is going on, guys? Welcome back for another Fishing Friday here in the Coldwater Aquatics YouTube channel. I don't know what that was about. I was trying to uh, bring my other camera in, and I guess I didn't realize how much time I was wasting. But what is up with you guys? How you doing? Hope you all are doing better than us because we've been sicker than the freaking dogs around here. Uh, whole family. It's almost run through the whole family, so... Hope you guys are doing good. We're struggling, but we're getting by. Uh, as you're aware, uh, we didn't do a live stream last week. We were at the uh, the fairy dance there, me and my youngest one. Uh, one that I still have the capability to go to the father-daughter dance with. We went and did that, and uh, it was a good time. So, uh, Also, uh, this coming up Friday, this next Friday, we will also not be live streaming as well because we have a play, musical, some sort of musical musical play i would imagine and uh my youngest daughter may have a speaking part in that so yeah that's the deal but this is our weekly live stream for you guys that are unfamiliar or if it's your first time here welcome nice to have you with us my name is brandon this is my fish room 63 degrees fahrenheit down here in this fish room and none of these tanks have heaters in them so i keep a lot of north american native fish Pre pretty much exclusive north exclusive to north american native fish uh right there is a big red ear sunfish and i just thought i seen him right behind him was a grass pickerel where is he oh he's right here he's hiding in the shadows right here uh we have uh pumpkin seed sunfish here and then right there is our bowfin mr bow jangle so we have quite an arrangement of um different north american native fish the majority of which are large keep a lot of sunfish and stuff like that but i do have down here some rainbow shiners so i do have some smaller ones and we do it all in unheated aquariums uh all these plants are live live plants uh there's cyanobacteria in every tank so you know that's the deal <laughs> but it's uh it's a low maintenance deal. I don't do really water changes. I just top off. Uh, about the only time I'll do a water change is if I need water to clean a sponge filter out. So I can't say that I don't do water changes, but they're very, very infrequent. And when they are, they're very small amounts. And yeah, that's just what I do. That's just what I like to do. It's what uh, this is what the deal is. So appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out here on this Friday. Uh, we get down here and do these live streams and chat with you guys, see what's going on, tell you uh, about the fish room. Nothing really has changed This besides this. This is a new tank right here. This this uh, this used to be over here. It used to be a 55-gallon, a 33-long, and another 55, and I've since removed those. This is a 75-gallon here, and then this tank besides me, besides me, this tank beside me here, the six foot tank is going to actually be turned and i think that's what will be next week's video i think i'm going to make a video uh showing you guys what not to do doing doing what they say can't be done and, <laughs> and basically we're just gonna run this tank down to like maybe two three four inches of water leave all the substrate plants in it and i'm just gonna move it so i know a lot of people say don't ever move an aquarium unless you break it down and do this and that but i'm here to be the exception of the rule but really just to make it easy i just want to make it easy on myself so and i don't feel like messing with it i don't feel like redoing the whole thing yet unless i move it and it starts leaking and then we'll do that but that'll probably be next week's video of us moving that tank and uh yeah what's going on with you guys hope everybody's doing good let's get to the chat coral first in the house what's up and i know this is a weird this is we usually follow right behind Graham over there at, at Aquarium Adventures live stream, but you know this whole daylight savings thing. So we changed time Sunday. We sprung forward, and I feel like they don't change time for another few weeks or a month or more. So uh, our times will be messed up, but it is what it is. You know what are you gonna do? So welcome, Carl. Good seeing you, brother. Dave Jones. What's up? Good Friday to y'all. How you doing? There is my wonderful, beautiful wife, Aquatic Ness. Thank you for being here. John McKenzie in the house. What is going on? Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. John Williams, welcome. Nice to have you. Hit the like. If you guys haven't hit the like yet, we appreciate it. If you can share it out, do that too. Make sure you're subscribed too. If you're over here just checking out some stuff, make sure you're subscribed. We're picking up like 100 subscribers a month or so, roughly. 
which is not killing it, but it's I'm just letting it do its thing, okay? Just letting it do its thing. I'm not pushing it. It's just it's just uh organically growing on its own. So that's the best way I feel. Jeff Kane, what's up? Good seeing you. How you doing? But what I was getting at, Pile Aquatics, welcome. Maybe you're a new subscriber because you've seen some of my new short videos and you said, hey, what's up with this guy? So check it out. Make sure you're subscribed. Or maybe you're a new viewer who isn't subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> 3G, what's up, man? How you doing? Appreciate you for being here. What up, Coldwater Gang? What up, Gardaki's Playground? How are you? Welcome. Uh, just hanging out here. <coughs> Can you pretend like you're reading chat during it? It just messes with people who don't realize it's a premiere. I can, like, I could start out like that. <laughs> was everyone, was everyone confused last week or not? I know some people, some people don't realize it's a premiere when I'm not live because it's very seldomly, it's very seldom that I'm not live, but only a few occasions, and it does mess with people. Some people are like, oh, because I think uh, some of my some of my later videos I've done in the past, I've started out just kind of talking to you guys, and uh, people are like, oh, he's not live. <laughs> I can try that, man. I'll do that just for you. How about that? I'll do a little intro and we'll I'll let it linger. I'll let it linger for a few minutes. <laughs> uh it would be easy if it had a handle like the 55. I know. It would be much easier if it did have a handle like the 55. They just build them things in like it's in the design, you know what I mean? Like how much more divine intervention do you need than putting a handle right on top of your 55? It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, now what 3G is talking about is uh, my last couple short videos. I don't, I don't know. I was like, you can probably tell if you've come to the stream a lot. My voice is different. I'm like nasally because I'm s still, I'm not probably not sick, but I'm getting over it. But uh, I was out messing with some tanks and I thought, you know what? I want to shoot some videos, and I was like, my my voice is all messed up, so I'm gonna put a little twang on it, make it a little different. And then I thought, what the hell? I'll try to make some funny videos. So, my if you haven't seen my last two short videos, do yourself a favor, I think, and go watch them because I think they're funny, and I listen to them and I get a kick out of it because I'm not always the funniest guy, but when I am, it's usually it, it makes me chuckle. So, I made one video where I talked to, uh, you know, I questioned like. Why do these 55 gallons break all the time in the center braces? And I pick the 55 up and I just carry it by the center brace. And uh, the other video, I was cleaning cleaning my fish tank off of the pressure washer and I blew the damn silicone out of the corner of it. So it's just good stuff. Check them out if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Dave Jones, what's up, man? Nice to see, nice to see you. Hope you're doing good. Carol Cox, hey y'all, just finished a class in a lab with the local EPA fish guy. It was amazing. Local EPA fish guy environmental protect really that's that's cool is that that is that that series you were talking about like where you you go and you uh learn a bunch of stuff with some peoples i think i remember hearing you talking about this in the past very cool <laughs> shady shady grady what's up with you how you doing welcome to the stream nice to have you with us if it, if you guys are new thank you for coming by let us know how you found us make sure you're subscribed and say what's up to everybody because uh we got 15 people here you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> yes. I'm not eating sugar. I am a bitch. <laughs> I mean, the, the not consuming the things that you like definitely can um, skew, skew your attitude. So I can understand. I absolutely can understand. You know, you gotta you you stop doing some things that you really enjoy or find peace in. And it messes with your mojo, so. <laughs> oh, shit. Good stuff. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jeff Kane says, I was for a short period. For you, you was what? You was what? What was you? What was you? Let me know. <laughs> Melvin from Storm Riders Legacy. Hey, Brandon, good to see you, buddy. Well, good to see you too, buddy. Hope you're doing fabulous, man. Or at least I hope you're doing decent. How's that? I know you've been through some circumstances, so I hope uh, I hope you're hanging in there, brother. 
I really do. And I love you, man. I love you, brother. Lucas D. New to the channel. Love the content. Not enough native fish content out there. Agreed. Agreed on the last part. Definitely not enough native fish content out there. And it's unfortunate that, like, you could almost say the largest native fish keeper on YouTube is pretty much inactive. Uh, Zach over there at SC Fish Keeping, he's got um, quite a channel, and people were really enthused about it, and he, like, caught a lot of uh, traction, and, and then he he got uh, into life. So it is what it is, you know. Um, I'm not trying to get too caught up into this social media youtube stuff uh i mean i'm doing it and i'm doing it uh consistently but i'm not pushing it to where i'm at the point of burnout or that it's an inconvenience i just do it to have fun and making those last two short videos made me realize like yeah, it's kind of funner to make videos that i'm just having fun in just kind of messing around so maybe you see more of that who knows <laughs> Kayak and Kathy, hello, how are you? Good evening, and I love you too. Welcome to the stream. And Aquatic Ness, I love you as well. <laughs> Shorts algorithms like funny videos. I think they do. I, and and uh, it kind of worked like I wanted it to because, it, I mean, it didn't really. I thought I was going to get more feedback on it because I thought people were going to be like, oh, what do you 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 can't power wash the fresh uh, fish tank you'll yeah of course you'll blow the silicone out no one really said that but i did have someone say hey uh it's not a handle that's not a handle it's made to hold the lights and trim and i was like oh okay that makes more sense so i was looking for some of that you know just playing off stupid but uh i was just doing it for the fun factor of it and and uh yeah and like i said my voice was messed up and i just was being goofy it felt fun so i did it i did the damn thing change is good you're right change is good uh i think i think a lot of people have issues with change and i think if you're more flexible and not so stuck in your ways like you can be a little more open-minded you'll have much easier time than if you're stuck in your ways and you don't think you just can't change. oh it's gotta be this way uh, da, 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 da. no it's like if you can f just chill the hell out and ease up a bit and be flexible and roll with the punches you're probably gonna be all right and you're probably gonna have more fun doing it so <laughs> sorry i i meant to write hello but you better get them typos straightened out <laughs> i'm just picking on you uh jeff was confused by premiere for a short period that's see that's good then good i'm glad i'm glad i got it i got somebody <laughs> Uh, Carol Cox, yeah, I'm working on my master's degree. Oh, that's awesome, Carol. Great to hear that. That was for my aquatic ecosystems class. I got to look at a ton of preserved species in the lab. That was very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, Arish Saddle, hey, what's up? Where do you get bullhead catfish from? The river. I got mine off from, well, actually, I can't say that because I got some couple of them from the lake. So I got one from the, the river and two from the lake. So, um, But I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have my super moderator here. He is also a super um, supporter of... Uh, da, 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 da. No. Uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Jonah's Aquarium. Ryan over there at QC Aquaholic, he definitely... Uh, buys a lot of fish from from jonah's aquarium so he he always knows like kind of what they have in stock but check out jonah's aquarium.com they have a fish list there actually i think their uh facebook page is probably a little more up to date and see they i believe they may have bullhead on the list but um yellow bullhead there's like what four different species of bullhead in this country maybe five i think four in the u.s here and uh they're pretty well diversified up here in the north we're kind of midwestern area uh, a lot of yellows i've seen i know some of the uh, blacks are, and some of the other cool ones are down south a little bit uh, bullhead small small catfish doesn't need to be in a big body of water you can find them in ponds lakes rivers and uh, they're usually like people usually get pissed off when they go catfishing and they catch bullheads so 
if you know somewhere where there's uh, people that go catfishing or like to, you know, a spot that may be catfishable, go there and see what you got. You never know. You might catch some. So I caught mine when they were like this big and I used a dip net. And that was most, that was the most enjoyable experience because I got to raise them up. I got to see them grow uh, as, as I kept feeding them. And uh, yeah, I'm looking, up, I'm looking over here because this is where they're at, this bullhead. And uh, I like them. Let's, let's pull the camera up. What the hell? Bring go bring a camera over here. Might as well pull the damn thing up. Since I dropped it earlier too, I dropped it like right on the lens. Let's uh, test it and see if it still works. Um, add. Yes. Yes. And switch. There we go. And switch. So there's my uh, there's two of my yellow bullheads. Where's the third one? Third one is under the log. So those are the are those they're all getting pretty reasonably sized i think those are the two smaller ones so yep there they are uh, <laughs> did you catch it did you get the answer oh are you spamming is that what you're doing where'd you get the yellow bullhead catfish from there you go i told you did you catch it did you listen do i need to repeat myself that many times <laughs> Uh, you're not really live live streams mess with me until I uh, until the countdown started. Then I then I may have been grumpy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff Kane. I'm sorry. And I seen you're gonna be on somebody's stream, aren't you? I seen that. Is it Mex Cali Fish Keeper? Is that what you're doing? Uh, and yes, uh, Arish Saddle. I apologize. I sometimes I get behind in the chat and I don't see a question, but I will get to it. Like Aquatic Ness says, he will get to the question. I will. It's just a matter of time. And, and there's not that many people here this week, so it shouldn't be that long. We are good watching you on the big screen TV. Love you all. Well, love you too. Thank you so much. Glad you're good. Hugs and kisses, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm hanging in there, taking it one day at a time, buddy. And I love you too. Well, that's good, man. That's all you can do, brother. That's all you can do. It'll take time. That's for sure. Yes. Oh, Adele. Collaboration of curiosities with the $2 Australian. Good day, Ice Cubes. Hope you're all well. Well, we're all sick for the most part. But we uh, appreciate your well wishes. And we're hoping, we are hoping to get weller. More weller. You know what I mean? Ah. <laughs> uh. Arish, watch the spam. We all get a little excited about a quality bullhead. <laughs> well, hey, and they're on the screen right now, too. They're not doing much. You want to see some activity? Let me throw some shrimp in here. That'll get them doing some stuff. Look, they already know. They're like, oh, you're going to feed us? Okay. Let me throw some shrimp in here. Get a little action going. There you go, buddies. Oh, yeah. Come on over. There you go. That'll, that should bring the third one out. There he is. So you can see there, two of them are, oh, geez, what? Two of them are probably seven inch, six, seven inches. That bigger one right there on the left, maybe about eight and a half, nine inches. That's the one I've had the longest. Yeah, you guys ate all. You want some pellets? You want some pellets? Put some pellets in there for you. So you can tear my plants up. Tear all my plants up. There you go. Get on the pellets. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <coughs> They're like Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man on them pellets. Uh, yes, thank you, Adele. And thank you, Fish Fam Link, for thinking Adele. Du, du, du. I think Jonah has yellow bullhead. There you go. See? Coming in, uh, coming in with the info. Check out jonasaquarium.com for all your yellow bullhead needs. Uh, Coral says they have yellow and black bullhead up in the Pacific Northwest. Nice. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. I feel like I've only caught in yellow bullhead around here. 
I feel. Man, these guys are just, look at that. They just stir the tank up. Just stirring it all up. Churning it up like a churning butter. Uh, yes, we do. Thank you, Adele. We hope you're doing great. Oh, Kai and Kathy with the red red hand wave to Jeff Kane. Nice. Got the old red hand over there. Caught red-handed. Uh, do you have any Mad Tom catfish? I do not. These are my only catfish. These are definitely my only catfish. And But these guys have a... Uh, there is a spot in my f heart for these yellow bullhead because I've been a fisherman for most of my life. And I've probably caught more bullhead than I could count, even if I could remember. It's been a lot. I spent a lot of time fishing, catfishing when I was younger. Caught a lot of bullhead in little creeks and rivers at night. And uh, I always kind of liked them, but I was, the, I was the fisherman that was disappointed that it wasn't like a big channel cat or a flathead or some blue cat or something. But um, as I've gotten older... Uh, I decided to keep one, and when I kept one, it was like, eh. And then I kept one. I kept that big one right there on the top with the sunfish. And I was like, eh. And then once I caught those two smaller ones and grew them up a little bit and put them together in a group of three, the dynamic has changed, and they're much more interesting fish, uh, species only. So if you ask me how to keep a yellow bullhead, I'd say this is a pretty darn fine example maybe you could have a bigger tank you can always have a bigger tank this is a 75 gallon and it's probably way overstocked with three big old fat and sassy yellow bullheads in it but they do pretty good they do pretty good i could see myself putting these guys in a six foot tank next you know six foot tanks for everybody right why not what the hell <laughs> Yes, Mex Cali Fish Keeper did make the mistake of inviting me on as a solo guest Sunday morning. Well, I'll have to check that out. See what kind of mistake he made. <laughs> That's cool, though. Very cool. I'm trying to psych myself into my birthday in a few days. Took the day off of work and will be streaming to raise money for YouTube peeps in need with a couple small giveaways also. Well, excellent. I'll have to, uh, we'll have to see if we can keep our eyes peeled for that, Adele. Pay it, pay it back a little bit to you there awesome in a, in, a, in a few days so in a couple days right a couple days we'll be watching Vinoxky hey how are you welcome to the stream glad to have you with us I noticed green aqua YouTube used rainbow shiners in one of their recent aquascapes our native fish are trending there you know uh, if there is going to be a native fish that catches on or brings people uh, opens people's eyes is definitely going to be the rainbow shiners for sure because they're beautiful and they're small they're easy to, to maintain they're very very similar to um, uh, any you know majority of aquarium fish you could buy so a lot different than say a pickerel or something but but yeah definitely a gateway fish for sure waka waka <laughs> Stephen p what's up buddy how are you Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Ah. They look like the horn pout that we catch in our ponds and streams in Maryland. Really? Tell me more. Horn pout. Is that, is that a type of catfish? Interesting. Never heard of it. Paul McCarthy, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome, buddy. My friend caught a bullhead off the bank on the chatterbait last spring. It's on my page. Nice. That's cool. Was it a big chatterbait? Dang, that's kind of surprising. Very neat. Very, very neat. And welcome to the stream, Luke Miller. Appreciate you for being here, buddy. Uh, I'll be dismantling the streaming PC and upgrading it tonight. And if the repackaged motherboard i bought doesn't work i'll be raging for the rest of the weekend oh boy computer problems huh dang it yeah that's that's the deal ah oh. what 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 is canceled i think must be steven p stream because his computer issues sounds like Yes, good luck, Stephen. I'm not much of a computer person. I've, I've, I know what I could do. I could like 
I could physically change the motherboard, it would be the other stuff that I would not know what to do, like to get it to work with programming or settings or something. Drivers or all that shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm still stuck on the stream yard. I need to be on OBS, but it's like I just haven't done it yet. I thought I've thought about it. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna buy a new microphone, and uh, I think after that I might buy a new camera, and then I'm gonna maybe buy. I don't. You don't have to buy OBS. I think OBS is free, so I think I'm gonna try those three things because I do. Uh, I do spend quite a bit of time here on the old YouTube streaming every week, and I might as well try to make it as good as possible if I'm doing it right. So. Maybe that's what we do. Uh, our rainbow shiner is available from anyone other than Jonah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of people. Lots of people. Uh, I feel like I've heard Dan's fish had them. I feel like you can order them online at a lot of fish suppliers. Um, also, uh, White Cloud Dynasty. If you reached out to him at the right time, you could possibly get some from him. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Kenny Kenny from ABC over there, Aquatic Biotope Creations, has some from time to time. He breeds them. But, yeah, I feel like you can get them from a lot more, a lot of other, um, like, suppliers. Yeah, Dan's. There you go. Yep. Oh, MA is Massachusetts. Massachusetts, and it's a catfish. Okay, sorry about that. I'm, I'm terrible with... Uh, some of those, like, M.A. What's a Maryland? M.D.? Is that what it is? M.D.? Jeez. Been a while, you know. It's been a while since I've been in school, so. <laughs> Located in southern Indiana, by the way, it was a good-sized chatterbait. Nice. Like, like that? Like, good, like, this, like the standard size like chatterbait? That's crazy. Yeah. He might. He might. He, we got some of ours from him. Uh, Aquatic Ness actually won some. He did a giveaway and won some. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Computer works. It just needs to be upgraded, and I only really have time on the weekends to do stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Yep, yep. Uh, LRB has them. Really? Nice. Has He has... Uh, he has the fish you're talking about, which is uh, what was it called again? Horn pout, horn pout. Is that what you're talking about? He has those. Hmm. Coral white cloud dynasty is line breeding his. He is yes. He's uh, he's he's mixing the genetics from the northern species to the southern species. So he's mixing like the reds and the blues, and uh, the ones that I have. Beautifulest ones that I have, I feel like, are from him. But, you know, that's the deal. All right. Let's see. Let's move it on. Let's move it on over here. Oh, drop it down. Bam. Oh, the metal frame of tank is a shining. Uh-huh. Camera work. All right. Let's see about this. There we go. Man, look at the algae. Look at the algae of flowing. Oh, he has rainbow shiners. Nice. Very nice. I didn't know that. I thought for some reason Lucas was anti-native, like anti-North American native. That's what I thought. Maybe, maybe he's maybe he's changing his ways. Which is good to hear. I think everyone should keep some native fish, you know? I think even better than that, I think everyone who can legally do so should go out and collect some fish from the wild and and identify them and bring them home. I think that's cool. I think that's a cool thing to do. And if you have kids, it's even better to do it with kids because it's like uh, it's an eye-opening experience. He has sail-thin shiners as well. Really? Well, what do you know? Lucas Bretz, turn it a leaf. Or are you talking about Dan's fish? Oh, very cool. So this is uh, this is my 75-gallon uh, metal frame tank. 
a little rainbow darter right there. Look at him wagging halfway up. He's like, give me some shrimp. But uh, yeah, rainbow darter right here. This is a blunt nose minnow. This is a black sided darter. That's a central mud minnow. There's another one in there. And then these are uh, Eastern mosquito fish, Gambusia. Gambusio, there's a white sucker. Just went around back here. Oh, there's another, uh, there's the other mud minnow back there. There's a white sucker right there. And there's also a dollar sunfish right there. Cool little, cool little bunch. It's a motley crew. I tell you what. Let's see. Here we go. These guys are all hungry too. Everybody's hungry down here. Ah. There we go. Yeah, everybody, everybody get some snacks. See, Kiki Mittens didn't wreck the light. Yeah, I know. That's good. Our cat, our cat seems to be a terrorist on my fish tank lights and lids. She's constantly moving the lids around because she lays on top of the lights. I think she's soaking the heat out of the lights. <laughs> that darter, the little rainbow darter cracks me up. Look at this thing. It goes for all the shrimp. Committed. It says, give me all the shrimp. <laughs> I've got a few empty tanks. You give me some ideas. 75 gallon tank. There you go, man. Yeah. Just do it, man. Just do it. I've no, I like, I. Sometimes I plan my tanks out, but I just have more fun just letting it roll. You know what I mean? Just letting it go. Like, see what happens. See what turns up. Just like this guy. See, he just turned up. You just talk about him, he turns up. What's up, Kenny? How you doing, man? You got shiners? You got rainbow shiners? You got any for sale? If people want to know, let us know. <laughs> Wouldn't you be laying on those lights if you were a cat in the Chili Willy fish room? Well, I would, but... Also, if I was trying to stay warm, I'd probably go up where it was warmer, like upstairs. But cats are weird. Got to give cats that. They're weird. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Fish Traffic. How are you, mate? <laughs> hey, how you doing, hey? Welcome to the street, man. Let's, it's good to see you. How you been? Uh, let's go. Yes, let's go. Um, what happened there? Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Something popped up. Something popped up. Good seeing you, Kenny. Member for 28 months. No shit. Wow. I feel like one of these years it's going to be like, member for like, what? Isn't it going to be wild if it's like, member for 100 and something months? Like, what the hell? <laughs> 100 and something months? What? It's like when people talk about their babies that are like 90, 90 weeks old or 180 weeks old. <laughs> That's awesome. I appreciate the support, though. I really do. Thank you guys all so much for supporting me here on the channel, supporting the channel, sticking around, coming back, putting up with this shit. I appreciate it. You guys are great. I've tried to stay committed, giving y'all a place to come, you know, like a television show. So we're just doing the thing. Thank you guys all. Ah. Uh, uh, you had shiners or you hate you hate shiners <laughs> sold all of them a while ago i see not at the moment they are getting ready to spawn so give me a couple months there you go is it because of the temperatures starting to warm up a tick in your cold fish room too kenny's kenny is me and kenny are like brothers in this deal because we both have like pretty cold fish rooms some may say Kenny's fish room's colder than mine. Some may say my fish room's colder than Kenny's. Depends who you talk to. Probably nobody's saying that. I'm just making shit up. But anyways, I know his fish room gets cold. So, uh, you know, who, el who else has cold cold water fish, fish rooms on YouTube? Who's got it? They ain't here. But, but we're here. 
Hey, we Kenny, we're here. <laughs> it doesn't seem that long. It doesn't, does it? Remember for 29 months. Wow. That's like as long as I've been monetized too, which I didn't realize was coming up on three years. Holy smokes. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the future holds for this channel. I don't know where it's going. I feel like at some point I may be a little more motivated to build the channel, but then it maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. But I do appreciate all you guys. You guys are awesome. Mine was down to 45 this winter. See, mine was not down to 45. Mine was not. Mine went down to 55, 57. That was it. So so I guess the people that say Kenny's Fish Room is colder maybe are right. <laughs> That's all right. I don't need to have the coldest fish room. If I wanted it colder, I'd just open up a damn window. Oh, you get cold then. <laughs> I'm not comfortable below 74, so that's as cold as it gets. That's hey, that ain't bad. That ain't that ain't that ain't a thing. Oh yeah, Kenny also hit 1K subs. Nice, nice. Where do you see? What do you see with your channel, Kenny? Where do you see your channel? What do you think you're gonna do? Got any ideas? Let us know. I don't know. I see a lot of people's channels are growing on YouTube. I really been noticing this lately. If you look around, it seems like a lot of people's channels, even in the fish community here, have put on some substantial subscribers. It's very interesting. I don't know what to think about it. Obviously, um, everybody's different, but yeah. Go with the Flow Aquatics. Richard Reynolds in the house. Hey, y'all. What's up, Richard? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you for coming by hanging out. We just chilling here in the fish room. Hanging out, looking at uh, looking at the old metal frame here. Admiring it in its algae beauty. Lots of algae. Uh, you'll have that. Especially in my fish room. You definitely will have that. <laughs> oh look at that oh change the background oh whoa what is that oh live every friday 6 p.m bam i forgot i even had those what do i got here oh let's do this is this a video is this an old video let's look at this ah it is Yep, that was an old video, all right. What's this? Okay, here's another one. Oh, wait, this one's 51 seconds long. Let's check it out anyways. Yep, yeah, that was when I was digging those uh, never-ending holes for my ponds. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It felt like they never ended. Like I just kept digging and digging and digging. Hey, as always. Benjamin Peters, welcome. Hola. Hola, amigo. How are you? Appreciate you for being here. Richard Reynolds, I do not have the crappie anymore. I do not. Uh, I, I realized, well, I lost one. I lost one like, geez, last year, and I was so I was down to one, and I I just I felt I think I just didn't feed them enough. I think I undernourished them. I feel like that's what happened. Uh, Terry's Tropical Tanks told me the the crop you're gonna eat me out of house and home, and I was like, oh, I don't know, we'll see, maybe. And I think like maybe if I was feeding them like I should have been, they probably should have, and maybe would have. And I felt like. I didn't feed him. Maybe I didn't feed him enough, and he just—he always looked pathetic, and I couldn't get him to like eat enough to put any size on. So, yeah, I ended up losing all of them, but which I only had two. But you know, that's uh, that's part of the hobby. You know, you're gonna kill some fish. 
Uh, I've killed lots of fish. I'm be the first one to admit I messed up a lot of stupid. I've done a lot of stupid things. Killed a lot of cool fish. Um, so yeah, it's a live and learn experience. But I try to just keep keep the information, the important part, moving forward, and realize like, well, maybe they're just not for me, and I'll stay away from that, and I won't continue to make fish suffer that don't do well so that's kind of one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of small fish in my fish room because whatever reason i feel like i'm a better fish keeper for larger fish Uh, my style and the way that i feed and stuff like that seems to work out better for larger fish so that's uh that's just kind of what i've been doing moving forward and I know crappie are definitely our larger fish, but I feel like though that was one that it wasn't a good mix, I guess. So, but hey, hey Brandon, where did you get this cool drift driftwood root? That's a that is a maple tree root ball. So basically, this uh, this was like about a twenty foot tall maple tree, probably about yay so big around on the trunk at the ground, and uh, I took it down. And I actually, like, uh, I cut it off, and then I dug it out of the ground. And I left it sit outside for about a year. And then I pressure washed all the dirt out of it, and I threw it in this tank. And, yeah, that's what it is. If you could see, like, if you could see on the other side of this, you could see where I cut the, cut the trunk off. So, like, this, looking this way into this root ball... As if you were laying down underneath the tree that was growing out above you. So it's like a bottom view of the root ball. If that makes sense. I hope it does. <clears throat> they are. They are pretty little fish. Did you dial 811 before you dug? I did not. I did not. Normally I would. But I did not. I had. I don't know if I had confidence or stupidity on my side. I can't remember. <laughs> Rainbow darters are awesome, too. They are. They definitely are. I kill a bunch of aquarium plants. I've done that, too. But I grow more. I, that's, so that's the thing. That, that's the balance. Like, I feel like if you can do, you know, you can do better than you're not, then you're doing all right. So, you know, yeah, fish are going to die. Yeah, plants are going to die. But if you're keeping more alive than you're killing, you're probably doing all right. And if you want to keep learning to get better you're going to get better over time so oh shrimp yeah killed lots of shrimp too lots of cool shrimp too what do you do what are you doing blunt nose get off a darter got a full belly damn blunt nose horny head minnow (laughs) all right what are we gonna do well it's uh Let's go look at the pickerel. This rug is in a bad spot. Every time. Every time I get around the edge of this damn rug, it likes to roll up. Whatever. All right. There's my big water wolf there. The old grass pickerel. And uh, red ear, red red ear sunfish. We'll get them some shrimp too. Okay, well, red's eating good. 
Oh, yeah, almost, dum-dum. There you go. Jeez Louise. God dang, that's like a lead a dog of water, but you can't make it drink. Or is it a horse? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> I think he was just too damn excited that he couldn't figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, Big Easy, what's up, Mark? It ain't easy being Big Easy. How you doing, buddy? We appreciate you. My fish just love eating plants. Yeah. My fish, uh, my fish, my fish don't really eat a lot of plants. God, this tank doesn't look good. It used to look better. It's got, it's come, it's so spurty. So spurty. I think I've been feeding too much lately. I think that's my problem. Holy shit. Bullheads over here having a war. Jeez, this is destructive. Destructive fish. If you want nice planted tanks, guys, get little fish. <laughs> get little fish. Pumpkin seeds are cold water discus. You know uh, what's better than a pumpkin seed is a freaking, uh, what are they called? Um, the, the long ear from down south. Ozark, Ozark, long ear sunfish. That's a freaking discus, cold water discus, if there ever was one. Holy smokes, check it out. Google it if you haven't. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google Ozark, long ear sunfish, and look at a male. It'll blow your mind. Absolutely blow your mind. Six. Man, we've been streaming for 48 minutes already. Holy cow, time is flying, guys. It is. Seriously. Well, what I do now? Clicking buttons over here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pickerel's chomping on that piece of shrimp. Long ear. Long ear are nice. They are. I know what you meant there. That pike. Yeah, damn pike. Stupid ass pike. <laughs> it's the glass. It messes with everybody. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go move on over to uh, what we got? Two more tanks? Let's do two more tanks. Oh, looks darkish. Darkish. Okay. So this is a 90 gallon with. Uh, Pumpkin seed right there, and there's a yellow perch and two shiners, two common shiners in here. Seems kind of dark. Seems kind of dark. Is it dark? Is it dark for you too? Come get it. Come get it. Everybody eat you soon. Oh yeah, you watching? Watching over here? Look who's watching. Look who's watching over here. He's like, what's going on? Well, these fish are on the heat. They actually are. I'm like your ass. Oh yeah. Get in there. Everybody get some. You want another piece? Oh, you missed it. You missed it again. There you go. Oh, yeah, with the strike. The strike shake. Nice. Nice. Okay, and then over to here. Mr. Bojangles and Pumpkinhead. My cord's all jacked up. Who cares? There you go, Pumpkinhead. Drop it on the floor. Oh, rip the bow jangles. Pumpkin head, leave it alone. Yeah, see, you better watch the hell out. You better chill the hell out. Bow jangles ain't having that. He said, get off my shrimp, brother. We don't play those games. Homie, don't play that. Uh-uh-uh. whoop <laughs> oh, Okay, where we at? 
Uh, we have pumpkins at the shed. The blue ones are incredible. Nice. Very nice. I'd like to go there someday if if and in uh if and then I ever make it to Chicago. I don't know. Seems like a sketchy place, but I might I might make it there. Paul, I hope he is doing better, man. Jeez, sorry to hear that. Yes, glad things are settling down. Uh, the pike is as bad as eating as a wild one taking your lure. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. Uh, I just watched a video of that. There was like somehow they mount a camera on a fishing line, and then they had these two baits going, and the pike was like, er, er, and then he missed it, and then he come back around and, er, and yeah. Chicago, a paradise, is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. You guys got to see it all. Even got to see Mr. Bojangles in his, uh, you know, in his uh, natural habitat. <laughs> I'll hook you up with some tickets. I appreciate that. It's not that far away. It's really not. Like, I think we could get to Chicago and three hours maybe three or four hours maybe i don't know maybe it's not even that far i'm not positive we tell people it's scary to keep people keep people away <laughs> is that is that what happens <laughs> oh all right where are we at 53 minutes awesome coming down to the end is there anything you guys want to see i hope not because i'm about to kill his camera is there anything you want to talk about? Is there anything you want to say? Better do it now. Um, let's see what do we got on the, on the on the queue. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, no stream next week because we have a uh, 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 one of my youngest one again is having a play or musical of some sort. I can't remember which, but she has a talking part possibly. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing next Friday is I will save the spot. I always save the spot, but I'll make a premiered video. It'll be a, a recorded video, a edited video, and uh, it'll come up at 6. It'll premiere at 6, and then I think it'll be me moving this tank from here over to there. And then from there, probably some of my next uh, edited videos are going to be setting this 75-gallon up that I got right here. Uh, and obviously there'll be shorts in between, but yeah, I think, I think that's it. Oh, dude, what's up? White Cloud Dynasty with the $10 Bloodworms fund. Thank you, man. You almost paid for all the Bloodworms I just bought like two weeks ago. Then I bought a sheet. I bought a sheet of Bloodworms and a, and a sheet of, uh, frozen brine shrimp. So I think it was only 30 $32 maybe or something so what's that 16 bucks 15 14 bucks plus tax thank you so much brother appreciate this $10 super chat you didn't have to do it but I do very much appreciate it guys make sure here let me let me do this damn thing make sure you check out white cloud dynasty guys got it going on knows how to breed some fish very good very very good at selectively breeding fish and has been a uh, been a big supporter of my channel here, and I appreciate it. So I'm gonna try to stay a big supporter of his channel. So let me get this link here, right here, guys. Possibly the only link dropped tonight, right there, by Cold Water Aquatics. Make sure you check this out. Go over and click on White Cloud Dynasty. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And see what he's got going on over there. Dude Dude can do some stuff. Got some amazing white clouds. Amazing white clouds. Amazing rainbow shiners. Go check him out. Cold Water Aquatics approved 100%. 1,000%. Lumpy Dog, what up, brother? How are you? Thank you for coming by, man. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, Lumpy Dog. Uh huh. Speaking of shiners, yeah, there you go. See what I mean? It's awesome. Very, very cool. Subscribe. Nice. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. And make sure, do your, do your due diligence. Due diligence. Due diligence. 
wow, I can't say it. Do your homework <laughs> and check out all these people that are in the chat right here. And if you see someone that you're like, who the heck is that? Go over there and see what they got going on. Like this guy, J-Rock. Go see what he's got going on over there. And if you like it, consider subscribing. And then you can kind of build a community of people that you can come back here week after week and hang out with. And then you can go to other places and you might run into these people. You're like, hey, what's up? You know, like you walk into a place and you won't be the only one. You know, you don't want to be there by yourself because you'll know some people. So, you know, build build a community. Good seeing you, J-Rock, though. Uh, got a new to me desk. Just got the computer hook up. Glad I could catch a few minutes. Well, that's awesome, J-Rock. Glad you could too, brother. I appreciate you for coming by. Yes, do your do jiridjidable. Do that. Do your do 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 boss. Do your uh, do do diligence. Do diligence. I did it. I did it. I overcame it. Okay. <laughs> Big Steve's glass box creations. What's up with you, Big Steve? Good seeing you, man. Salem Aquatics. Hello, Coral. I can manage that. Yeah, you can. Of course you can. <laughs> live liked it excellent you guys are awesome i appreciate all you guys thank you all for coming by supporting the channel thank you to white cloud dynasty for the super chat thank you to adele over a collaboration of curiosities for the she came across with the australian super chat like huh check that out pretty neat you guys had a lot not a lot of questions but a number of questions i appreciate all the questions keeping the chat going Cold Water Aquatics cover video. Yeah, there you go. Check that out, too. That was last week's video. Go check it out. See what, see what we're up to. Some have said that was some good video and some good some good videography in that. Some Someone said that, 3G. I appreciate it. I don't really try that hard, but it seems to work out. So, But, yeah, I appreciate you guys immensely. Thank you for coming by. Oh, Big Steve gifted a cold water aquatic membership. Very cool. Thank you, brother. You're awesome. Um, yeah, come by and hang out with us again next week. We do this every Friday, except we won't be here next week. But there'll be a video playing, so you can actually act like you're here. My tax for being late. There you go, man. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, we've been streaming for hell. Well, we, we've been monetized for 30-some months. We've been streaming longer than that because I was... Just, I was streaming like a year before I got monetized. So, quick question. All right, drop it, salient. Let's hear it, man, what it is. What's the, what's the question is? We got time. We got, if that's, what, if that's all we got, we got time. We got plenty of time. Yep. Okay. When one gifts memberships, are they buying them, then handing them out? No. So what happens when you gift a membership is you pay for it, and then YouTube figures out who they want to give it to. I don't understand the, the details in that. I feel like, is it fully randomized? That sounds like a good, okay, it's RNG. That sounds great. Because I didn't understand how the hell it works. Seems like sometimes people gift memberships and YouTube will give it to someone that was just here for the first time during the stream. But if it's random, it's random. So there you go. Very interesting. A lot of things happening on YouTube, changes and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is. You just, that's 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 how it is. Right? That's the deal. <laughs> but we're going to end this video uh i heard it is based off of your channel interaction that could be but i feel like i feel like memberships have been gifted to people who really don't interact with this channel but have been here before but maybe i'm wrong uh it used to be you had to opt in on every channel but they changed that now you can opt out oh sometimes it's people you have never seen in the chat yeah lurkers probably right interesting who knows it's one thing that's going to be hard to do is to keep up with youtube because constantly changing constantly changing that's for sure you hear a lot of things but youtube doesn't actually tell us how it works that's a, yeah it's kind of like the government right you hear a lot of things but they don't really tell you you just got to figure it out 
who knows who the hell knows but i appreciate you guys we're going to uh we're going to end the end the stream here with the members appreciation video but thanks again for coming by and hanging out everybody i really do appreciate it check out everyone in the chat make sure to uh, hit the thumbs up on your way out if you haven't and come back next week okay hang on come back next week for the uh for the uh premiere of me moving this tank while we're at uh another show <laughs> scott Haddo, what's up man i seen your comment so i had to pop back out from what i was doing oh man it's daylight savings time again already dang it hope everyone had a good stream sorry i missed it it is it's that it's that weird period where we change time but you guys don't change time for a few weeks or a month and then you change time and then we're on the same time until we change time again. So it's just, you know, you're just messing with the clock at this point. But it is what it is. And it either it is or it isn't. And is you is or is you ain't. And, and I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I don't know. But I, I, uh, I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. And uh, we will see you all next time so hope you all have a wonderful happy safe weekend peace out cold water aquatics appreciate you guys <laughs>